one of the things I do in my classes to get this idea across to students is I hold up two computer disks. One is loaded with software, the other one is blank. And I ask, what's the difference in mass between these two computer disks as a result of the difference in the information content that they possess? And of course the answer is zero, none. There is no difference as a result of the information. And that's because information is a massless quantity. Now if information is not a material entity, then how can any materialistic explanation explain its origin? How can any material cause explain its origin? And this is the real fundamental problem that the presence of information in biology has posed. It, it creates a fundamental challenge to the materialistic evolutionary scenarios because information is a different kind of entity that matter and energy cannot produce. Um, in the 19th century, we thought that there were two fundamental entities in science, matter and energy. At the beginning of the 21st century, we now recognize that there's a third fundamental entity, and it's information. It doesn't, it's not reducible to matter, it's not reducible to energy, but it's still a very important thing that is real. We buy it, we sell it, we send it down wires. Now, what do we make of the fact that information is present at the very root of all biological function. That in biology, we have matter, we have energy, but we also have this third, very important entity, information. The biology of the information age, I think, poses a fundamental challenge to any materialistic uh, approach to the origin of life.